Morning, sundown is about 8.30. It's going to be a very, very long day because we're going to be putting a lot of fish on deck, baby. You can believe there's not going to be any dinks. So we're out here on a western bay of Lake Erie and I'm bucktail jigging. Here you see me holding a bucktail from a Northland brand. It's called the Sunfish and it is um, obviously green chartreuse and white with some tinsel on the side. It's an eighth ounce and what I'm doing here is I'm working this flat with a medium light action rod and what I'm doing is allowing it to drop to the bottom and I'm not picking it up vertically as much as I am slowly twitching it horizontally. And I might give it one or two pops and let it stop. One or two pops and let it stop. And here um, is when you'll see the fish um, hammer down on the jig, usually when it stops. So let's continue on to see us catch more fish. So here I'm hooked up to a very very nice drum a trophy drum to be exact it's about two or so in the afternoon and I'm using the same approach cast let it drop and using a horizontal type twitching motion to swim it along the bottom and pausing for two seconds one second at most and then that's what I, usually I they'll hit it that's while it's in a paused uh, motion so this drum here he hit it Travis is filming me here and this just goes to show again the effectiveness of the bucktail jig <laughs> you want that uh, let me see if I can't uh, get this old whooper snapper up on the side Oh yeah, that's a nice one. Real nice one. Oh yeah, come and pop it. Hammered it, too. He's hooked good. Not really worried about the line coming up though. <laughs> Hold him up. And so there you have it. A very nice freshwater drum from Lake Erie on the Western Bay. Caught on a bucktail jig. One of the most uh, valued and most historical lures that has been made. Here this video is detailing a very, very nice catch that is actually my personal best common carp <laughs> and he ended up measuring in a length of 37 inches and a quarter well over 20 pounds and again on a bucktail jig I often joke that the bucktail jigs are like jacks of all trades but the master of none and this particular video <laughs> will detail why it is that I say that simply because I have caught channel catfish, common carp, drum, walleye, white bass, and the list goes on on this bucktail jig. They're $1.99 and um, you can hand tie them and they're most one of the versatile baits uh, currently <laughs> out on the market. So again, I casted, you see on this rock wall, I cast it up there and I slowly retrieved it back again letting it drop moving my rod tip in a horizontal motion um, kind of to skirt it along the bottom where the mud flat and the rocks are on the bottom there and I paused it one to two seconds and then again I tapped it just a quick tit, uh, twitch and I pause it Twitch two, three times and pause for one to two seconds. And this monster fish 
grabbed a hold of it and gave me a ride of my life. We're gonna need a, a larger bump for it. No. You can probably, if I get them up high enough, you can probably net them. Or you can give me the net so you don't drop the phone. You can do that. Yeah, I'll come to the other side there. Bucktail pig, dude. I'm telling you, it's a jack of all trades, master of none. <laughs> This one. This is a hog, boys. If you want to talk about submarine, this guy, he is, he's a straight submarine. Do you want net? So, this isn't my first large carp, by the way. <laughs> I did catch two others that <laughs> measured at 35 <laughs> inches, one over 20 pounds, and one between 15 and 20. That is unreal, son. Un-freaking real. Look at that. Oh, bucktail jig, right there, buck 99, all right, <laughs> 99, big fish, happy adventures, priceless. And so there you have it, Man. one of the most epic um, fish that I've ever uh, fought on rod and reel, yeah. um, definitely an epic time there, um, landing him oh. and uh, having <laughs> Travis. Uh, record all that so for deck. me now it's this next uh right. video that i have is right here, team bonus footage when we went back to the same location and we're targeting channel catfish so let's check that out Oh man, I could have, I should have got that on, I shouldn't have flinched, because that would have been perfect, dude. Could have gotten that. Dude, what if this is a blue cat, man? Blue cat? Yeah. <laughs> That's too cool. It's like a coordinated freaking... Oh. Yeah, have you noticed, though, that the bigger cats have been out here? The bigger cats have been out in the flat, man. And so while the battle continues, I'd like to just share what it is I caught the fish on and, and the tackle I'm using. So the rod is a Rapala Tournament Series uh, medium action rod, seven foot, and I'm using 10 pound Berkeley Trialing Big Game. And we caught these cats on a float with a night crawler and we're targeting this flat because in the past we've noticed that the fish have congregated in that area due to a warm water discharge from a power plant and there's a very rocky structure um, down on the bottom of the of the flat it is surrounded by big boulders and a dike as you can see in the background and so these fish even though it's the beginning of may although not quite spawning but as you can see by their girth they're in preparation of and this big female um, along with a handful of other females we've noticed um, had very large girth to them and they're moving in to find their their area to nest and we were fortunate to intercept them on their way. So um, this is a time of the year that I like to target the uh, catfish and we were very successful on this particular afternoon here on the Western Bay of Lake Erie. <laughs> oh man, dude, what a freaking fish. Look and so that concludes the video 
on this particular day on Lake Erie. I just want to thank Travis Belcher, the Hobie Pro Angler from coming up from Central Ohio. Here's a collage of fish that we caught the rest of the afternoon. All trophy, quality fish. A lot of the drum were caught on the bucktail jig. And this is just a reminder that the bucktail jig with its historic value and relatively inexpensive cost is worthy of placing in your tackle box. Stay tuned for more video. And I look forward to sending you guys more informative information on bucktail jigging and other tactics for Lake Erie and Northwest Ohio. This is Mike with Team Dragon. Wishing you the best of luck. Be safe in tight lines. If you have any questions, comment below or send me a message in the box. Thanks.